Today I'm going to challenge myself to see how many caps I can embroider in one hour on a 10 needle single head machine. I personally think I can embroider about six to seven in an hour, which might seem like a lot, but it's really not because I'm going to employ some really good efficient tips that I will be sharing with you guys throughout this video. So the design that I'm working with today is from hoopmade.com. I will link that below so you guys can download a design for free today. Um, it is 3000 stitches, which is why I think I can get through six or seven. So knowing how many stitches are in this design, let me know how many caps you think I can get through and don't skip to the end to find out. We want you guys to guess in the comments below and then watch the video and see if you're correct. So first off, whenever I have to do a large run, I always make sure that I have the needles for the specific fabric that I'm working with programmed already on the machines. So typically I have my um, cap and border needles, the one through four, and then my small lettering needles would be like five through eight, and then my regular needles would be nine and 10. All right, next up, I also grabbed my box of bobbins and I made sure that I have a completely full bobbin for this run. And that should last me about the whole hour because it's 36,000 stitches per bobbin, more or less. And each of these uh, cap designs is about 3,000 stitches. I also have my tearaway backing pre-cut into the perfect size for caps. I keep some of these um, already cut for when I have to do big runs like this one. I also have my hoop station already uh, on my machine. I keep it there at all times for when I'm gonna do my cap embroidery. And I have my two cap rings. One of them is already on my hoop station and the other one is right here uh, for when the other one is running. I also have all my caps ready to go down here on this little uh, kind of like table that the machine stand comes with. Um, and I have seven caps. My goal is six in an hour, but uh, I have seven just in case we can do one more. As far as the speed that we're running the machine at, uh, we're running at about 600, 700. Right now I have it at 680. I'm gonna see how it performs at 680. If I feel like I have to bring it down a little bit, I might bring it down during the run. All right, so let's get started. I'm gonna go ahead and put one hour on the clock and begin. We're ready for round four, yay. With plenty of time to spare. So we're at the halfway mark and we are about halfway through with design number four. So we're in pretty good timing. I think we're gonna have some time to spare. And we actually had some technical difficulties with my mic, not with the machine, with the mic. Um, so that held us back another five minutes. So we would actually be on about 25 if it weren't for that. Also keep in mind that we included the setup time into that. It took us about 10 minutes, uh, including the setup for the first half. All right, so I got through six caps, each with 3,000 stitches. 
In less than an hour, I actually had 12 minutes and 53 seconds to spare. And that also counts the uh, like seven minute, no, probably less, like five minute setup time um, in order to you know input the design and all that um, and trace it and put the, um, the right colors. And then that also includes a little bit of interruptions that we had some technical camera difficulties. And since I had about 13 minutes to spare, that just goes to show that I probably could have done like two more caps. This is exactly why I'm always saying that most of the time, cap embroidery issues are just user error. If you guys are having problems with caps, then I highly recommend downloading the resource that I'm gonna give you guys below. It's a cap embroidery guide that tells you the seven mistakes that people make and how to fix them. So if you're making mistakes with caps, read it from start to finish, and I promise you it's gonna help you on your next run. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you wanna see more challenges or more kind of like real life scenarios where I'm putting to the test just how much you can do with embroidery then definitely let me know in the comments below you can also join our facebook group embroidery and custom apparel mastery you can leave me any questions that you have in that group and i'll surely answer them and there's also thousands of other embroiderers in there that will help you answer your questions so i highly recommend joining the group and i'll see you guys in there i have linked it below thank you for watching then like and subscribe too girly okay subscribe you can add that Thank you.